Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. It really is Lost Souls and not Galactic Silence 2 as I said in the last episode. Hmm. Anyway, I completed one or two quests. I think one was accidental actually. And I think I didn't claim a reward. So let's have a look at this reward I've got in my hand. Okay, the potions one. Because I'm sure we can't make potions in this pack at the moment. Maybe I've updated now so we're now on version 11.b3 or something like that. Um, so that's the current latest as the time of this video. Let's go back and press F4 on my quest levels. This is another one I completed. Let's claim that back. Now the quests, unfortunately, have got all reset. And I went through all of those or after I updated. And they're still, this time I run it, and they're still up, they've still been reset. And I'm not going to go spend my time fixing that. <laughs> Maybe there's a way to turn them off. They're all done. I'll have to look at that one. Anyway. So I completed that quest as well. I don't think I've completed any more down here, but I did notice, oh, this is now working properly with the latest update. Tier five seeds complete. All right, I actually, they've reduced the number of seeds here, but I haven't done fluix seeds because I haven't got any fluix. That's a bit strange. <laughs> hmm. Let's uh, claim that one anyway and done. And then we can then it opens up the tier six magical seeds, which is basically a tier six crafting seed, nether star awakened right. I can't do I can only do nether star seeds at the moment and I'm not going to bother. They're fairly straightforward. But what I want to do today is to get on and do some extreme reactors and also something special with armor. So let's get off that one and press F5. Now armor. Oh we have to look so let's look in this chest too. Oh I can reach that far. How can I reach that far? I must have got some something strange right. So I've got fishing on this one, uncommon. And I think I'm keeping the fish in one of these here. Look, I am. I've sorted my inventory out a little bit. Let's take this one off here like that. And so I can open that one without putting... Oh, right, okay. Actually, not such bad rewards, even though, you know, we've got them already. Let's put those in there, and the axles go in there too, because they do, they are time savers, not having to craft those again, so that's fine. And we do actually need a little bit of uh, better with mods in the, on the wherever we go to. You'll see I've got a lot of hearts in here. And okay, I'll explain what I did. I cannot, I could not get rid of those mobs. Let's get, let's oops, take ten. Let's, I'm going to take all but one of these. Okay, I need some XP. Really? Okay, that's new. I didn't know that. <laughs> Let's just do that. I need XP anyway for the travel, don't we, when we go to the overworld. So now it says I'm on level 23. I don't ask me what that means. And every once in a while I'm getting some strange enchants. Mostly positive enchants as it happens, so I don't quite know what I've, what's going on there. I suspect that's on. Oh, it is indeed. Yes, I need to sort these over. I'll be sorting out armor. And as you can see, <laughs> if I don't keep ahead of that one, it gets filled up fairly fast as it happens. And I don't keep many of the enchants. There's one or two I look at and I go, oh, that's actually quite a useful one. I'll take it out, but most of the time I'm not bothering. So let's have a look at armor. The one I want to do is this one. Supremium armor. And it looks actually pretty awesome but we can add these uh, charms to it the reason it looks awesome is you get flight on it and i think that is going to be a nice feature I'm, let me get rid of some of the stuff i've got in my hand here because i don't need all of it i've got an inferior fishing bow uh, fishing rod where am i keeping this let's put it into here i don't really care and also i've got the potions in here let's put the potions up there i think they're the same ones as we've had before yep it's my second inferior bow, I think. Yeah, got that quite a few times. Oh, and I've got some uh, golden lassoes here because I was lassoing a few more for the uh, traveling merchants. I I could shift those, click those into there, and they stack in this um, handy bag, which is quite nice because they don't normally stack. Anyway, let's carry on here with this. So what I've got in here is I've got these charms and we made these last time and the uses of these charms wasn't actually I was going how do I put these charms into the, into the armor but if you look at the usage it tells you you need a tinkering table 
some supremium essence and some prosperity shards. Oh, okay, that actually it wasn't too difficult in the end, was it? So let's get these out of here. I've got, uh, what have I got? I've got night vision. I've got fire protection. There should be wither about somewhere. And I've also got these. Um, and I think I need, I think it was supremium apples, wasn't it? I'm not sure which one it was. Let's have a look. It was the resistance one, wasn't it? Oh, that wasn't a very good search. Um, let's look for charm. So the wither one we've done so well, that should be around. And the one I think we had to do was charm resistance. So it is uh, superior apples. Okay. That's not a big deal, we can do that now. I need four of these. And we need four apples, we can take half of those. And then we should be able to make that charm. Let's do that over here. I can probably be better if I just do the, oh no, the uses of that one. So this is all the charms you've got, basically. If this is the one we want, let's, oh, do not, press, do not do that on the table. Okay, let's do it this way then. So now I can do this one. And the wither one should be in here. So I've now completed charms. Where has it gone to? Oh. Well, I'm either being blind. Let's select that one and we can then see all the charms that we get. So anything that's in here. So any extreme reactor stuff will show up. I'm sure I had it in here, but never mind. Nope. Nope. Well, that's strange. I must have put it away somewhere. For that, I don't know where it is at the moment. Never mind, I will find it. So, oh, it's probably on the table. Yes. So here's the tinkering table, and there indeed it is there. Look at that. Turn it off. So, it's already set up. So the withering one, I suppose I'm going to put that on my leggings. So you put your leggings in there. So then it has a flight and wither resistance, which is a good one. This on the boots, I'm going to put, I'll probably put night vision on the helmet. We've got another one, haven't we? So I'll leave that off. And we'll put night vision on the helmet. Like that. And on the chest plate, we will put resistance, I think. Like that. I must cancel that by the looks of it, but there's, there's enough space for one more. It's reasonably expensive, but I was getting the supreme essence by grinding with us. Oh, yeah, fire resistance. That's what we need to do. Let's put the fire resistance one on the feet. I'm I'm in an hurry as to whether you can I want to do this one or not. What are the ones we've we got that we can actually do on here? Jump boost. Minus vision. There's only rainbow. So it tells you what it does on because that applies to a bow. So those apply to bows. These are these are ones which applies to tools like attack. What's that one? Increases the sword attack radius by five. That's quite an expensive charm. And all of these ones here increase it by five. Speed applies to leggings, so you could put a speed one on here. Strength 2 applies to a sword. Resistance, fire resistance. I'm just wondering, anti-venom. Do you know, this might be a better one than fire resistance, because we've got the Inferium charge, so that's what's anti-venom. A milk, okay. Tell you what, we'll do that one instead. I think I won't put that on the on the beat, on the feet. I'll put it anti-venom, because witches are, are still a bit dangerous, even... Uh, to us anyway, so let's put this stuff on. And it takes off the, the jetpack, which we don't need to use then if we've got flight. And I've taken the slime boots off, don't need to use those. On the leggings, and eventually the helmet. So where am I going? I'll just put these in this chest for the time being. Like that. And 
I would like three more of these. So I've got two stacks of Supremia Essence from Grinding Up Withers and some extra ingots as well, just in case. So let's just take these three here and put those around here for the next charm that we decide to put on. Now that's one thing I wanted to do. Another thing I wanted to do, you'll notice here I've got some Dilithium ore and some Rutile ore and some black quartz. I also was around in, around in the world to, to discovering these. So that's for appetite ore for multi farms. There's a uranium ore, which we could make some seeds. I'm not sure. That wouldn't be too much of a problem, actually. We can do that. But what you do, you put this into the ore processor, ore crusher, and we'll get six. And that'll be more than enough to make uh, the seeds. And I think we have to put them in the spell. So let's put that into the ore crusher here. We should get three of each. So we'll end up with six ores. We'll only need uh, four ores for a seed, but uh, maybe I'll leave that in here. I don't think I can put these into here. I think they have to go through the... Um, yeah, they don't look. You see, it goes grey. They have to go through the smeltery, but the smeltery is busy at the moment making glass, uh, making clear glass from Tinker's Construct. Because glass is a very good thing for building uh, buildings out of because mobs don't spawn on glass. So what's happened here? All right, it's run, <laughs> that one stopped, and that one stopped. Basically, it's just about running flat out all the time, this thing. And it ended up with some glass in here like this, and we'll shove that into inventory, and we'll do that in a minute. The other thing I want to make was a char, another ring. That's right. And I want a squid ring, and I should have with me somewhere a squid. Tell you what, let's put those into there like that. I should have a captured squid. Here it is, a squid. And I've got my chicken ring, wing, and I discovered what that all meant anyway. So let's have a look. Probably not so easy in here. And I don't suppose I need it anyway, because <laughs> cause I've got this flight. So <laughs> what do I need that for? And then, well, let's just make it, just because I thought I would do. So let's look at the uses of this one. We can make this. So it's four black dye, two, two diamonds, and uh, one ender pull. Isn't actually that bad? So we'll get the cheeky wings out of here. Basically, they're supposed to reduce fall damage. And you press double space twice and it reduces fall damage. Ah, I looked it up. So what have we got to do in here? We want two diamonds, one ender pearl. One ender pearl. And maybe we have two diamonds in there. And black dye. Black dye ink sacks. I think I've got ink sacks somewhere. If they're anywhere, they'll be in the die chest. Nope, they're not there. That's a nuisance. Let's just go through these. Let's see if I can find one. Nope. No. Huh. Well, I've got two wither dust here. Let's just see anyway. See what it tells me what I'm missing anyway. So let's look at the uses of that one. Oh, right, the ring of the flying squid, which we can then put into our. Oh, we get the ring. We get that back as well. Good. So, we, oh, we've completed the request for flying squid. Let's go. Let's go and claim that reward. I'm going to do these straight away because I don't. If I don't, then we have a bit of um, problems. So, wow, well, right there. So, Ring of the Flying Squid, I guess, is in Extra Utilities, isn't it? Here we go. This one here. So, we claim that. Done. So, look at this loot chest. Oh, got some dirt and some grass. That's actually not too bad. We'll need lots of we'll need lots of this, to be honest with you. Oh. Ah. Well, I'm getting lots of dirt anyway. Let's put the grass seed, the grass up there, because I probably need that as well. Oh, we've got 58 dirt. That's not bad. So, next thing I want to do is to make an extreme reactor. And I've got the math all done for this as well. I think I need about 100 casings. So let's have a look at extreme reactors. You see, I've got it already set up in here. I was going to make another sterling engine, which I've done already. They're actually quite good, those. I quite like them. So, a machine casing is reactor casing, this one we want. 
and that produces four so we need 25 of these reactor casings let's see if we can actually make uh what am i missing graphite bars and iron ingots okay we've got plenty of iron ingots in fact i'm going to put this these back in here while i'm doing this because oh i say plenty they're not in there but i know where they are <laughs> they're in here at the moment they're coming in here so i've got 176 it's not well it's not masses but it'll be enough i guess let's take a stack of those and in one of these chests here i've already prepared the uh graphite bars i think it might be here yes that's right so that will give me 80 take all of it see what we get how far we get so i need 25 of these things probably haven't got enough gold and that says we can make one so what am i short of gold yes okay ah uh, that's because i converted all my gold to gold blocks let's go and get a stack of this as well that's from mob drops which is always a good thing to use first isn't it so let's take one of those and let's try the recipe for that again <laughs> now what am i short of redstone oh well i've got no shortage of redstone either seeds are wonderful right, let's these ones basically just go in the block like this. So let's take that out there. That'll give you 64. I'll take 64. And then we'll get rid of the one, the extra one. So that's good. I didn't get rid of the other stuff, did it? So, the next one. The recipe again. And I'm missing. Ah, of course, because I put the iron back. And the. And the gold. Oh well, that was smart, wasn't it? I forgot I've got. I'd forgotten that I'd got them in here. <laughs> right. So sometimes you lose speed by trying to save. Uh, lose time by trying to save time. Let's go again. Recipe. So this time we get sixteen. So we need twenty. That's a twenty-five dinner. So we need all of these. So what are we missing now? Gold and iron, I guess, huh? Now we've got gold here. So probably need some more iron. Hmm. That went down fast. So we've got 18, so we need another 7. Okay, let's get the recipe with this one. Let me make 16. Take those. Let's keep clicking until we get up to 25. Like that. And I don't think we need any more of these for the time being. Forty-one. I'll just put these in here like this and we and they're out of the way. And in a useful place. So oh right, let's put this bubble let's put this bubble in here by the way. Good. So now we can make some casings, I hope. Reactor casings, like I see. What do we need for that? Oh, rather a lot of iron. <laughs> can we do 36? Well, we need about 100 of these, so I need some more stuff. Oh, it's only iron I'm short of at the moment, I think. Let's go back here and get probably the last of these stacks. But it might be enough. If not, it's dead easy to get some more, and it's fairly fast too. I should really build another smelter, shouldn't I? There we go. 36 plus 15 times 4. I think I'm going to do it like this. It's 40. That'll be 80. Uh, we're probably short of about 4. Never mind. I can sort that out. Let's go and get some iron. Maybe I'm alright actually. We'll just have a look. Oh, I am alright though. I've got iron blocks in here. No big deal. Right, good. So what we need is one controller. Let's see if we can get find a controller. So we need the reactor controller as opposed to the 
control rod controller legacy as opposed to a turbine controller so we need two uh, two ingots of eulorium now we should have eulorium and i thought actually there was some in here uh, there's some ural okay but we need actually i'll take two blocks and decompose two blocks into ingots uh. Yeah. So let's try that again. I think that's what we need. So we need one controller. And then we need some ports. Nearly got that right. Try again. So we need a reactor access port. Cool. We don't need the coolant ports yet. We need two reactor So one for input and one for output. I'm probably missing two chests. But I've seen a whole load of chests somewhere. Here. That was my dump chest, by the way. So we need two of those. A power tap. We need a power tap. We only need one power tap, I think. That's a red flux one and a Tesla one. Well, I don't know if there's any Tesla stuff in here, so any mods that support Tesla so I do I'll leave that one RF definitely supported um, and we need some fuel rods we need two fuel rods actually because I'm going to make a 5x4 5x5x4 high reactor I should have told you that at the beginning shouldn't I I'll need a control I'll need a control rod anyway let's get one of those out we need some fuel rods we need two of these and I'm missing iron okay just iron okay no big deal try that again what am I missing now can't can't be Eulorium did that take more than four iron okay I hadn't realized I wasn't look careful enough to die Let's try that again. Recipe. I guess it takes six. So we've got two fuel rods. And we need 80 casings. How much have we How many casings have we got? We're 20 short by the looks of it. Okay, so I need to make some more casings. Hopefully we have enough stuff. It's, uh, I think we've got enough graphite ingots. Because I remember there's some more in here anyway. 26 in there okay let's try that then we've got one reactor casing core casing that's been ah uh, probably need to make some more of these in that case because that's going to give me four we shoot we're short of 24 so I need three more of these that's actually 12 isn't it Okay, good. So let's look for this one. Oh, actually, I'm talking rubbish. 80, I only need four. <laughs> oh, I did get my calculations right. Okay, ah. Oh. Um, uses. And oh, that's our 80. We don't need any more of those. It isn't much about having a few extra casings around because I'm sure I'm going to expand the reactor over time. Put the yellow room in there as well. Don't need, oh, I do need that actually. Right, well, I think it's time to go to the overworld. Have I got enough XP? Well, let's be on the safe side. I'll make sure I have. Oh, I didn't tell you what I did today about the that builder that got out of hand. Well, what I tried to do, I should be able to fly, you see. One fast, too. Wow. What I tried to do is here I set up some, they're still burning actually, I set up an interdiction torch and a, and a mob masher, a mob gr uh, yeah a mob mash, no a mob crusher, the one from that. And I just had to set it going and I was standing here and it was just, it was just kept on coming and coming and coming. So what I eventually did is I set it into, um, which mode, I set it into uh, 
difficulty zero mode, so it was peaceful. Then I came along and basically removed the thing. I removed it and it was fine. After that, no big deal. Let me look what we've got here, if anything's useful. Maybe some cobalt's actually useful. Let's just pick those up without picking everything else up at the same time, which I seem to have done. <laughs> Typical. Try again. I'll drop that. No, it didn't. Okay. Sorry, getting carried away. And then, blah, 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 blah. So let's go back now to the overworld. Oh, and I found some llamas as well. <laughs> Put them down there. <laughs> Just for, but they make funny noises. Right, overworld. Let's go to overworld portal. Nope, I forgot my glass. I've I need my glass. I put it all back, but I still need it. Oh, and I picked up some stuff I don't want. That's not so good. Um, use of this. And of course, it's on the last page. Recipe. Try again. Right. I get rid of most of it. Let's put the rest of it in here. I think that oh only one of those okay and the nether rack itself we can simply put on the ground so you can't actually drop it and then and then the null dang will pick it up and i want my glass how much of a space have i got here now five spaces okay let's just sort out my inventory a little bit let's move this one up stop there i'll put this one here in here and take out the glass. I'm still short of one set of spaces. Oh, I can put the diamond away. I don't need the diamond. <laughs> what I was thinking with the diamond, of course, it was wanting to go after the um, Twilight Forest. And it's not a diamond in this one. It's a fl fluid crystal. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Right. I built another um, smart output as well. The reason for that is this, these weren't keeping up. You can see it's it's almost about just about keeping up now, and it wasn't keeping up before. It was just just was too slow, so the glass was just sitting there waiting to come out. But with two, it works better. So let's go to the other world. What time is it? It's coming up to sunset. Doesn't matter very much. Let's fly. And of course I get an interesting colours because I've got the the mask on. And here is the current position of where it's finished. So let's come down here and put into here all the glass. And you'll see that that goes, gets put down very fast as it happens. There it's just done that bit over there. But it's taking a lot of glass to do this. So this is where I want to build the reactor, somewhere down here, but I think for the time being, how am I going to do this? I'm going to put it in a chest because I'm not really ready for that yet. Yes, I've got one spare. You can put it over here somewhere. So what I want to do is to set up the builder. And then with the builder we can... Let's just put all this stuff into the chest. Because it's fairly straightforward to put down anyway. I probably would have liked to actually have had some reactor glass in there as well. But what we need to go and do is to find a fluid crystal. And I wonder if it's possible to do what I need to do. Let's have a quick look. The other thing I have, I have done is to do some uh, applied energistic stuff. I found a few bits and pieces. Oh, I haven't been over to this fountain yet. Let's go and do that one. Because these have quite interesting goodies underneath them. Oops. Press the right button. Press W, not E. This is a large one. and I think this has got goodies underneath it. So what I first of all do here, as I come along, it is getting towards night time. Let's just put a block on top of it like this. Get rid of the water. 
Now underneath here somewhere is going to be some goodies. So what I could do here is to get my pickaxe. Well, I'll use this one. Not the, we'll use the unbreaking one here. We don't care about zombie pigmen. They are going to affect us. Like that. Oh yes. And there's this crystal thing here. A floating crystal. Can I take that floating crystal? Now I don't know anything about astral sorcery, so I don't have to bash it one. Pickaxe diamond, okay, we'll do that then. Uh, nope, not working. <laughs> Pickaxe diamond, okay, is that not diamond? I would have thought that would have been... Oh, and maybe I need a diamond pickaxe. Let's try the other one then, where's it gone to? Nope. Oh, I actually need a diamond pickaxe. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a chest behind this zombie pigment. Let's kind of look at that. Oh. Aquamarine, and uh, the rest is fairly big standard stuff. In fact, I'll take the chest with me when I'm thinking about it. Zombie pigment can't see us. Now, is that the only one with a chest behind it? Nope. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, I'll take this stuff as well. And I'll take the chest. Right, so I have to come back to this place and get a... And to get a proper pickaxe on this one. So let's go up. So what I was going to do here, what else have we got over there? Village. Did I show you this village? Oh, there's another one here. Now underneath one of these pillars here, there's a, a chest. I'm not sure which pillar it is. But the easiest way to find out, so I haven't done it already, is to basically mine all this away. I forgot to get rid of the water. That gives me a bit of like. <laughs> I'll put one of these on there like that. That should, should, be, should give me some snowballs. Nope, none there. And then we're under with a lot of this marble stuff. There we go. That's just a chest. And so he gets these scrolls and some constellation papers. I don't know what to do with those neither, so there we are. I'll take the chest with me as well. So those are those things. We've got bees, we've got bees on them now. It's really nice, I like that. So what are we going to do next? I really need to find some... Uh, Certis Quartz, don't I? They make progress. I want to go to the Twilight Forest. So let's go and see if we can find some Certis Quartz. Now, I was going to set up the builder to do some stuff like that, but I suspect what we need to do and do is to find some um, a cavern or something and do some mining. But then I found some good ones in the past. Whether I can find them today when I'm doing this I don't know because I didn't mark them. And I would like to test this armour out as well. I know it's got durability on it. I've got these inviting stairs with these nasty mobs in them so we'll have a look at those. I think. And see if Abyssal Craft gives us anything interesting. Ah, oh, there's something down here. Let's go down here and have a look at this. Spider charms, I think I've also got. I created a spider charm. I haven't got a cave spider charm yet. Oh, nothing exciting here, is there? The spiders can't see us, which is good. And I haven't got a witch charm either. I'm going to only off to these inviting stairs. Oh, look. Another cavern. Let's go down here. What I probably should do is press F on this one here and then get my sword in my hand. Ah, oh, some sort of course, just what we need. Ah. Uh, 
and I think a fortune pickaxe probably was wrong. I can use the fortune pickaxe afterwards. So let's just use the ordinary silk touch pickaxe for the time being. Huh. Helps if I use a have it in my hand, doesn't it? This will be a certis quartz, so we'll need to charge this up in order to get charged certis quartz. Some more small black quartz all here. That's an interesting one. What's that one? A skeleton with a leather helmet. And that was tin ore, huh? I thought I saw something else. Let's go down here. Skeletons can't see us anyway, I think. Skeleton warrior. Ooh. I think that's quite a lot of blocks of discord. So there's nothing down here very exciting. <laughs> oh, lots of mobs around here. There's interesting mobs. I'm not sure whether those are from Minecraft 112 or it's because of something else. Right, where are the inviting stairs? Shaft. That's quite a long way away. Village. Inviting stairs. Just, I wonder if, if I've got any more mobs. Oops. Let's do it like this. Oh, there's quite a few of these guys, aren't there? One. I've got to use this on the hunter. Just seeing if I take any damage or not. Oops. I don't seem to be taking any damage. I suspect the armour is. No point in holding that, I've just got to hit him with a sword, haven't I? How much health has he got? 80, okay. I'm wondering whether to also to make the uh, the sword from um, Supremium Sword. Yeah. Right, you've gone down. Gonna look at those stairs again. I just saw a load of mobs. I'm not sure whether there's anything interesting there at all. What's he dropped here? I have to move some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, a slug of fish. Flesh. Okay, <laughs> fish. <laughs> well. Oh, I need to eat. Oh, that is so cool, that gluttony one. Another one. Maybe I'm supposed to step back on these guys. Let them come out a bit. I don't see anything interesting in that, and I don't want to waste spend all my day doing that either. Yeah, throat poison, but I've got anti venom on me, so that's fine. <laughs> Now, I've marked a village down here. Well, there's another one of those astral sorcery things. Let's go and have a look at this one. I'm just wondering what to do about those mobs, actually. Whether I should actually simply get rid of them. Oops, I've done the same thing again, haven't I? Um, well, I suspect the dirt would be really best. Let's get this dirt up. Actually, I can do it last, can't I? Ooh. Well, I haven't found out which pillar it is yet. Because <laughs> it would be the last one, wouldn't it? Start a trap. Yes, good. Uh, so we get more of the same things. And I've got no space. Let's make some space. What I should do with these ones here is to let's shift let's shift right click the dank null. And let's put into that this marble. Then I don't need to worry about marble again, I can just simply just move it out of the way like that. What else have we got in here? Bones, prosperity shards, bugs, lots of bugs. Seeds, small bugs. Where are these bugs coming from? I dug up all that grass while I'll fly off. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, cow. I need it for milk, don't I? Let's get some milk. I can 
Brasco. I'll probably have to put this away somewhere. Let's go and take a different slot. Let's move the milk up. I need the anti oh, I'd like to get the anti venom one. Well they stuck in there too, that's interesting. And there must be one more cat about. Another compressed cow. Right, I've got those. Let's get this eaten a bit. And let's just claim the last of this stuff in here. I'm not sure I've picked up everything. Ooh, that's a glowy one. Right, that's everything. Well, I think it's possibly about time to go home. So let's, uh, what are these things? Are these termite mounds or something? <laughs> Always a good guess. I've never seen one of those in Minecraft before. I suspect if I break it, the termites will come out. Let's have a look. Oh. No. Oh, yes, lots of termites. I guess those are edible bugs. Termite clay? Oh, fair enough. Okay. Let's go back home. Where's my charm? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's in my hop <laughs> already. I've got two. Just to confuse me. We'll go to base, I think. So now I've got this Certis Quartz. What was that that was very red there? Nothing. So now I've got this charged Certis Quartz here. Uh, Certis Quartz. I'm going to put it down. We're going to break it. I think, I think that's probably the best way to do it. Because I think the fortune pick will give us slightly more than any other way. What do we get? Five. So now we need to charge one of these things. So that's the goal. Let's get the charger out. Um, what's it called exactly? Let's do it like this. This thing here. Charger. Uh -huh, so we need some fluid crystals. That's a bit awkward. Is that the wrong type of charger? Charge set is quartz crystals. Well, that's a bit of a nuisance. You need a charger to charge those. So I've got to find some... So it's a one charged set is quartz, one another quartz, and one redstone dust. So I've got to go and find some of those. Okay, well, before I go then, I'm going to make this last charm. Uh, and I need some prosperity shards for that, I think. Oh, my inventory's a bit on the full side. Okay, let's just do that. So I need a charm. And I would like the anti-venom one, this one here. So we need to get one of these first of all. So we need a block of supremium essence. So I need a, nine of those plus another few. That's uh, quite a few. Let's go put these diamonds in here. Don't need those. I'll take all 12 I've got. I don't think that's enough actually. I think I need another one. But we might have another one in the in the thing. So yes, but we do. So we need one of these, and I still don't have enough space, do I? I'll tell you what, let's move some stuff out of the way. Those are the saplings for the thing that that'll actually do, I think. And I'll put tidy up the rest of the stuff later on. So now let's have a go again. Charm. Wrong one. Anti venom. So I need this. So now we've got that one. I need one more supremium essence. Superior essence. We should have quite a few in here now, I think. We need some buckets. I need to get some space for two more buckets so then we can make that. And then we can put that on the last piece of armour. 
and then we can inspect the arm and see how much damage it took against those things. I didn't seem to take too much damage, but uh, let's have a look. I'll get rid of the iron ingots so I can go into there. See if I could put away. Oh, I've got, no, I've got enough space now. E. So where's those two buckets? Look here. So we should be able to do the anti venom charm. There we go. So now, I only got the buckets back again. Good. So now, last thing is let's get this out of. Which one hasn't got a charm? Empty charm slot. These ones say with the resistance, so they have taken a little bit of damage. Which is actually a bit of a nuisance, to be honest with you. I prefer them not to take damage. So, let's take this one out of here. Let's put in the anti venom. Put that on our boots. And then we have anti venom. So now we're fully equipped again with flight. It's hard to know which armor to pick, to be honest with you. At the moment, I think this is probably the best one. Um, you know, I thought you could charge. I thought you could charge thirty quartz crystals without a charger. Let's see, I've got another. I've got enough of these prosperity shards. I went out and did a search for them. It, just over by the um, where we were before, and I didn't have any troubles, even from a uh, thing, even from the oh. That's what I look like. It's the first time I've seen it like that, actually. It's very red. <laughs> anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.